You're live. Yeah, give me a free T1. And... You're live. Oh, we're live. <laughs> free T1, I guess. So professional. So, we are here at Tabletop Scotland. Um, we are having a look at Microbrew from 13 Elephant, which launched on Kickstarter, what was it? Yesterday. Four yeah. o'clock yesterday, and funded in under 16 hours. Um, it's a great little tiny tin game, everything you need to play for two players in a little tin. And we've got Nigel here to teach it to us. Right, so Microbrew is a two player worker placement um, puzzle game hybrid, right? About medium weight, plays in about an hour. Um, so if that puts you off, now's the time to go watch the different channel. Right, so. <laughs> Um, don't say that. <laughs> okay, don't watch a different channel ever again. <laughs> so, what we're doing in Microbrew is we are brewing teams uh, in a single brewery and we are trying to uh, prove ourselves by winning the most loyal customers. Okay, To collect money as you go along in the game, but you, uh, your objective is to have the most loyal customers at the end of the game. The way that you win a loyal customer is by serving them the perfect pint. So if we take this guy here as an example, uh, I'm sure you guys are in a second. Uh, this is Jamaican Tropical Stout. Um, his perfect pint is this one here because the warts on that thing there uh, match the ones on here. Yes, yeah? so you've got three dark and a light. So uh, the board doesn't matter as long as you get the right sort. Yeah? Do we want to see that up close for the thing there? That's the perfect combination Perfect, there. Yeah. Okay. So, if you take a serve action, so you send one of your workers to the uh, serve action down there, then uh, you can serve him that pint. He will rate it, and because it matches his warts, um, it's got a rating of perfect. Um, he also likes sweet um, beers, and that one's got a sweet flavor to it, so he's gonna give us $3 extra, so it's gonna give us $7, but most importantly, he's going to join your team there, okay? So, um, on top of that, what we need to do though, before you can actually um, serve a beer, you need to actually bottle it. So you need to take the bottle action first. Now, uh, if you take the bottle action, what you do is you select a column of warts in your kettle. So each player has an individual kettle to work with. So if we were to select these, this column here, uh, we're going to ignore the fact that that was perfect for his pattern just now, that, that's not there. Uh, so we're going to select this one here, then you take a column, uh, you fill up the bottle matching as best you can the um, warts that are on there, and then over the next four rounds, yeah, so that'll sit there while you're doing other stuff, and it'll ferment off one by one. If they match, it'll ferment off nice and cleanly. Um, this one here doesn't match though, so that's going to contaminate the beer. Yeah, it's going to sit in the sediment and uh, give it a slightly weird flavour to it. Okay, so these ones are discarded, but that one stays on it. Yeah. So now, if we've done that and waited four rounds, then take the serve action. We can serve them that beer, and it should be perfect. But because of the contaminant, it's going to downrate it to smooth. Okay. So he'll still give us a bunch of money for it, because he'll still drink our beer, but he's not going to become one of our loyal customers, yeah? He's going to become not thirsty and sit up there until the next round, right? So, so usually what happens is, if we kind of reset a little bit here, do it, do it, do it, okay? Usually before you can take um, the bottle action, you have to take a, a, a brew action, okay? If you take a brew action, you can move the warts around in your kettle, right? Now, when you move them around the kettle, there's four rules to moving them around, okay? Uh, you pick one of the warts, so if you were to pick this one here, and you move along the lines, okay? Um, so if this one here can move, so we pick that guy there, and it can move upwards if it is lighter than the thing it's swapping with, right? So it could move up in this direction here, and that would be fine can't move in the same this direction here because it's not lighter than that, it's the same. Yeah? It can move downwards if it is darker than the thing it is swapping down with. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So um, that one can't move down at all. 
But if we were to pick this one here, it couldn't go up, but it could go down. Right? The green ones, the hops, they are wild. They can always move, right? They will swap with anything, right? But you'll notice that none of the recipes have the hops in them, yeah? So uh, it makes it easier to move your stuff around, but if it gets into your beer, it's going to contaminate the beer, right? Okay, so it's wild in terms of being in here and moving yeah. around, but it's not wild when it actually comes to bring That's the beer. It. Perfect, yes. Um, right, so, um, yeah, so in our case here, we were trying to make this recipe and we were trying to make it with this column here. So a nice simple brew we could do is take this one here, this light wort at the end here, and then swap it with that guy there. So that guy swaps in. So that's our brew action. Then in a later turn, we can take a bottle action and grab these three guys here. And they will go into the bottle. That means over the next four rounds, that'll ferment off cleanly. And these will go in the discards. Then even further after that, then you can take a serve action. You can uh, serve it to our guy. He'll find it perfect, give us a bunch of money, and join our loyal customers, okay? That recipe then goes back in your hand. You can refill it again uh, to brew it again if you want. Uh, and it's up to you. I'm just going to continue on that. And then here, we know he likes sweet. Yes. Yeah, so with this, using this one again, this has got the sweet. Yeah. So he gives you the extra money. Yes. Yeah. These guys only like craft one free elephant beer then. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that just gives you an indication of what's what type of beer they like. So that one there is a, a lager. Yeah. You can see that this one that, that's going to come out next, that's going to be a stout. Yeah. So that's going to be mostly dark coloured uh, warts that are in it. Okay. So, this goes back in your hand, you're ready to go again. And those three actions are kind of like the core of the game. Like 70, 65, 70% of the time, that's what you're going to be doing, yeah? So you'll do brew, bottle, and serve, okay? So there's a few other things we can do on here. I'll just go through them. It's worker placement, fortunately, so you need to know everything you need to do before you start. So, uh, in the mash action, which is then there, we have drained a column from our uh, copper over here. So, to get that refilled, you take the tin, give it a wee shake, and then without looking, you take warts out one by one and fill them up. Okay? So if you had two columns empty, then you would fill up two columns as well. Yeah? So you just fill up the whole of your, your kettle. Okay? Uh, that's mash action. Brew we've already done. Break's nice and simple. Um, if you take a break, you gain one dollar from the vending machines in the cafeteria, and then anyone that's not thirsty becomes thirsty again. Okay. They'll all become thirsty at the end of the round, but sometimes you want it, you really need to serve to that guy, yeah? So, um, you've got the bottle action, we've already done. You've got the flush action. In the flush action, you will take all the discards, put them into the tin, and then you can look in the tin and swap any of your hops with any of the warts that you want, yeah? So if you, these then can be swapped with things that you choose. You don't have to do it kind of blindly. Okay, so uh, that's the flush action. Advertise will come back to in a second. We've got the manage option as well. You've got to have money to do some management. Um, the first one is overtime. You go to the manage action, pay a dollar, and you can take back one of your other workers. Okay. Um, three recipes, you pay two dollars. You get to choose three recipes from the top of the deck. You get to look at them. You pick one to keep in your hand. You pick one to go on the list line of it, uh, availables and another one gets shuffled back into the deck. Okay. Um, higher staff is dead simple, you just get an extra dude on your team. Okay. Um, upgrade, you get to take your valve, bolt it onto the side of your uh, kettle here and now you can use the extra space that you've got on the side there as well. Okay. Last action is advertise. Now, Advertise, um, it's a bit like serve, except that, uh, or it's a bit like serve because you need to have a bottle of beer ready, it needs to be not contaminated, um, and you need to pay, right? So in the setup we've got here just now, it's four per loyal customer that you currently have, yeah? So you'd have to pay four to advertise, and you'd have to pay eight. Uh, sort of catch up mechanic, right? So when you advertise, you choose an uh, uncontaminated beer, and you serve it to one of the customers that are thirsty. 
they will find it perfect regardless of what war pattern it's got on it, yeah? So that's a perfect beer for them, even though it doesn't match, yeah? You're basically just buying their loyalty, okay? Um, and they will join your team just as if you'd served them the perfect thing, okay? And that's all the actions you have to do. A couple other things. Um, if you've played worker placement games before, um, you used to, like, if you're there, then that, that spot's blocked, yeah? Um, and microbrew, you can push people off, uh, you just bump them off and then they get them back, but then they can reuse that guy that turn, okay? So we use bumping instead of blocking for our uh, worker placement. Um, the last thing is the... the last thing? One thing after this, I've said the last thing like three times now. <laughs> You've got the brewmaster here. He starts on this uh, managed space. If you go into the brewmaster spot, then your opponent immediately gets to brew, okay? He will also move, so at the end of the round, he will move on to flush, and then all the discards will go into the tin. They might go into advertise, in which case that round an extra customer appears. Um, it goes down to manage, in that case an extra bottle will appear. Yeah, And he just kind of cycles around like that, kind of getting in the way, kind of being a little bit helpful. It's a bit of both. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, that's it. We've got objectives as well. The other thing though is, this is... Um Obviously, an earlier prototype, isn't yes. it? And you've now got some of the new artwork. Yes. Um, That's going to be the production art. So, this is what the people were, and this is what the people are going to be. Is the beer staying the same? Nope, the beer's no, getting an upgrade as well. Yeah. Oh. So, this, this, what we're playing with here is the prototype version. What you'll see on the Kickstarter page and in your pledges when you get them is this new artwork. Yeah. Uh, we're doing a limited edition. It's got the old style art in it as well uh, because some people have really taken people, to the sort of yeah. abstract, <laughs> abstract thing. Uh, but we're only doing 50 copies of that. And when they're gone, they're gone. <laughs> and so it launched yesterday. How yes. long is your campaign? Uh, our campaign's full 30 days. Um, so it finishes on the 1st of October. Okay, and when are you hoping to fulfill? Uh, we, <laughs> we are going to fulfill. Uh, right, oh, I like <laughs> that. I fulfill. like that. Well, this is our third campaign. Our first two campaigns, both have run to time, both have been delivered on time. Sarah's an excellent project manager. <laughs> and we've got high hopes that um, we will run to time on this one, yeah? So um, when are you going to fulfill? Yes, sorry. Then? Look, how um, about that? March. It's March. March. The timetable, we put timetable on the Kickstarter page. Um, we're hoping to uh, be in people's hands in March of next year. Okay? If you're getting the special edition with the old art, that's hand done by us. So um, that's going to be delivered November this year. But that, oh, this so year? Yeah. So wow. you get November this year, that'll appear. And then uh, this one will be March the falls. And it's £15? £15 for a single tin. That does you for two player games. We've got a double pack because if you've got two tins, uh, there's a different version of the brewery that will play three or four players Ooh, as well. Okay. But um, we physically can't fit enough bits in the tin <laughs> for it's three a, or four players. It's a very, tin. I wish you had one that was still sealed because it's a really impressive tin. You can open it up and everything just. Out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's literally, it's, there, there's pictures of it online, but it's literally filled to the right top. To the top. Yeah. Excellent. So, let's do a round or two. Yeah. yeah. Um, right, so, I'm just going to give you the oh, no, objectives okay. as well, so I just need to reset all the mess yeah. I've made here. Yeah, so you keep <laughs> that one, that's that your one. secret one. That one's going to go back in the day. But they're not totally secret, are they? Yeah, because they're only secret have... until the first time you use them. You have yeah. some idea of what it is. Yes, yeah, you know the type. Yeah. Yeah. So, you're also oh. going to have a shared objective. Oh, you should only have one of them. Yeah. yeah. Let's put that guy back. Um, you're going to also going to have a shared objective. Uh, today we are going to be competing to be the regional champion of German beers, or European beers here. So um, if you have loyal customers with um, either any of these flags on it, the person with the most loyal customers of those flags at the end of the game will count as having two extra loyal customers. Loyal customers. Yeah. There's also going to be two secret ones, but there's different types more regional ones there. Um, that one is a recipe one, 
if you are the master of sweet recipes, i.e. you have more sweet recipes than your opponent, mm -hmm. then you count as having an extra loyal customer as well. Right? So you're going to get two of these. Right? That are secret. Only you can fulfill them. You only pick one at the end of the game. Okay. Um, and that's what you, you can pick. So you don't need to choose now. You can do do I need to like quickly tune in to you to, to look at what Matt's objectives are? <laughs> right, okay. So we're ready to start. Do you want to go first? Um, no. Go on then. <laughs> go right. on then. No, okay, so um, early tactics. Oh, you need a, you need a, a green one to start off. There we go. Early tactics, it's a good idea to get something in a bottle fermenting, even if you don't think it's going to be perfect, yeah? So look at these recipes, look at the one you've got in your hand, yeah, get I it against that, get the best you can, right. get it in a bottle, okay? This one, yeah. see that's perfect for what she wants, but yeah, then these recipe recipes yeah. are, so... But then none of oh, them are good because, either. Uh, Cat's going first, you get an extra recipe, you get to choose one to keep, okay? So, I am going to... Let's have a look at your recipe. It's not too far Okay, off, yeah, you could get that in one brew, yeah? yeah? So I would maybe do one brew and then bottle it yeah. your second action. So it's brew to move. Yeah. So light goes up, dark goes down, yeah. and what I'm actually going to do is push the orange yeah. up there and the brown drops down. Yeah, okay. So that's you. So, oh, yeah, sure. Uh, I'm going to brew as well. Yeah. Um, so, so I'm going to for brewing. Oh, there's there's two slots, slots for brewing. Oh, yeah. uh, I'm going to brew uh, this one here and I'm going to switch these two. So uh, the orange goes down and yeah. the light goes up. Yeah. And when you're brewing, yeah, if you swap it into a new location and it can still swap when you want to, you can keep swapping, yeah, so you can move them quite far. So if you, you want could, to. I could in theory move like this. Okay, little yeah, yellow you one get all right the way, way right up to the top. Yeah. yeah. Right, okay, yeah, so we're supposed to be moving this back and forth, but it's back to you. Um, so I'm going to bottle. Yep. And I'm going to bottle this yeah. with this, this row. One, yeah. so. And do these all have fancy names? I'm not a beer drinker, no. so... They're, they're light, medium and dark horse. Okay. I think Matt might actually have better names yeah. for them than because <laughs> he's a home brewer, but yeah. I'm a vodka girl, so... Right. Yes, it's so potatoes. that's the end of your action. That's going to switch over there. Every time this moves back and forth, something ferments, okay? So everything will ferment every time that car moves. So that comes off. Right. Okay. I'm just following along, so I'm going to bottle now. Okay, so that's good. I get my guy back. Um, I'm going to bottle this row yep. on this one. So, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So this comes back over here. Everybody's bottles ferment. So, one water. That's it. And, oh goodness. I kind of want some money, I think. Yeah. So the recipes gives me recipes from the top to choose from. See, like, uh, another one you might want to try is you can put that one down to there, and then that would be a bottle next round. This one? Okay, and like, you can put that down to that dark oh, yeah. all the way over to here. Yeah, that's too yellow to brown. That. Can I knock myself off? Nope. So I you have, have to knock him off. So you might not want to do that. You might want to mash so he doesn't get an extra action, and that will let you fill up your, your kettle there. No, I'm going to be kind. Thank you. So this comes over to me. Oh, no, you're doing the brew first. Oh, yeah. I'm doing the brew, yeah. which is just... Move that dark down to dark. Because this is the You can move it again, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. All the way down. All the way down to that chair, kind of. Groovy. Okay, so you've got your dude back, so you can go again. Yeah. I am going... Oh, wait, this comes back over here, oh, and you can so ferment. Off. So... Pops now, you could be brutal. Oh, no, you can't, because you're blue. <laughs> Pops are wild, so I'm going Yay. to knock the cat back, and I'm going to push this orange into the middle row. Okay, good stuff. So that goes there. We ferment. Yeah. So 
you're now ready to serve. Yeah. If you're in it for the cash, you could now serve that beer uh, to anyone in the board. Yeah. It's not gonna, it's not perfect for anyone right now. No. But you've got three matches there, so it, it would be. Perfect. It's like got three matches. It goes down to smoke. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. You've got three matches there. Um, and it's fiery, so it's going to go down one to smooth, plus she's going to give you two dollars extra. Yeah, so that gives you five. So you might want to consider doing that. And it, it's too long for there, but then it's got that part. Yeah, so you get So I am going to serve, and I am going to serve yeah. here. So that's fine, so that goes back in your hand, you can re that yeah. later. And I get she's not thirsty anymore, then you get five dollars. Five dollars, which is our little track here. Yeah. Okay, so that goes back, you from it. Right, we're out of workers, so it's the end of the round. Everyone takes their workers back. There we go. Next thing that happens is anyone that is not thirsty becomes thirsty again. We get a new thirsty customer. We get a new recipe. And the brewmaster moves on a square. Okay, mm -hmm. so he's now on flush. Uh, so we flush him. All of, those go all of these go back into the tin. Like that. Okay. I'm ready to start again with your turn here. Okay. So uh, what I'm going to do now, this is ready, is I'm going to serve. Yep. And I'm going to serve perfect beer. Yep. To Ooh, the Irish dry. This lady here for. Four. Four. Yep. But I don't get the bonus because this doesn't have yeah. any. Yes, it doesn't have a flavour. Wonderful. Cool. So that's now on your team. She's a loyal customer now. Yep. This doesn't automatically nope. refill, this nope. only refills. At the end of a round or when somebody advertises. Okay, how do I get these? Just by fulfilling Just by bottling them. something. Yeah. Right. So oh you're now, now, who, 